everyone, so I've got a little tutorial for you today and I'm going to show you a very easy no makeup makeup look or kind of minimal makeup. And we all know that we want to achieve that kind of flawless, I'm just naturally perfect and pretty type of makeup but it's not that easy to achieve. And I've used some products that are very very important in creating this look. Try and stick to kind of um, creams rather than powders because they do help to create that kind of natural finish and you want to go for a really nice lightweight foundation. Now this type of look can really differ in terms of what it looks like your minimal makeup might be a tinted moisturizer and some mascara someone else's might involve black eyeliner it's very much down to what you're comfortable with but to me this is the kind of minimal um, look that I would go for if I wanted to look like I was just naturally pretty but not making too much of an effort and not wearing much makeup this is the look that I would go for and I hope you enjoy it I've gonna, I've listed all the products down below and I'm gonna show you my real no makeup makeup face now start off with this is what my real no makeup makeup face looks like and you can see I've kind of got quite a bit of redness on my skin I've got pigmentation on my nose and on my cheeks um, I've got a nice little blemish coming out here and my skin's just generally not that fantastic it's not terrible but it's not great in terms of the tone of it so I'm going to start off with foundation and when you're choosing foundation you want to choose something that's really light but that still will give you that kind of beautiful finish and what I've been loving lately is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Tint, I think that's how you pronounce it. Really light coverage, but gives a really beautiful finish. And you need to make sure you give it a really good shake before you start using it. So shake it really, really well. And then start to just apply it. I've got it in the shade um, 150 Nude Beige, and this is a nice match for me. But because it's quite sheer in texture, you can kind of get away with the color not being perfect. And just start applying it where you feel like you need it. You can see that the texture of it is very, very light. It's not a very kind of thick foundation. It's very, very liquid. So I'm going to use a brush. This is the Zoeva Grand Stippling Brush. You could just use your hands. You get a kind of um, very natural finish with your hands. But this is just such an easy foundation to blend. It practically blends itself. Once you've got the colour right, you kind of really don't need to do much work. And it just kind of disappears into the skin. It's kind of a little bit annoying to apply because you don't have a pump or anything. So you have to just kind of drag it out. But I like to just make sure that I've got a nice even coverage everywhere. And I don't try and kind of cover everything with it because this isn't that type of product. You're not going to get kind of that flawless finish with this because it hasn't got that amount of coverage. So just put it kind of all over just to start giving yourself a nice base. I know someone's going to ask why I don't put it on my forehead but it's generally because it breaks me out and I don't think you should put coverage just for the sake of putting it. So just put it where you need it. You don't have to kind of apply it all over. And lately I've been finding that my skin has just been being so red that I kind of just need to concentrate it on kind of my chin and nose area more so than anywhere else. So that's kind of it for foundation. It kind of smells strange. It's got a little bit of an artificial smell, but nothing um, too bad. So I just kind of stipple that in all over and make sure I've got a nice thin covering of it. So that's it. You can see my skin just looks a little bit better, but it still looks very, very natural. Then for concealer, I'm going to just apply a little bit of face concealer first. And I'm going to use the 17 Stay Time Concealer. Just because this is a nice one for kind of um, touching up any areas on your face that may need a bit of concealing. So I've got a few little blemishes here. I keep getting little breakouts on my chin. And just kind of anywhere that you feel like you need that little bit of extra coverage. My skin's just been kind of having um, sort of some homo homo hormonal breakouts lately. And I've been very, very stressed as well and my skin just reacts badly to that. So I'm just using a little buffing brush. This is the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush just to kind of buff away any um, problem areas. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply some under eye concealer. And for under eyes, don't use anything too cakey. I've been loving the Miners Fresh Face Concealer, just because it's very, very light and it gives you that kind of pretty awake look, but it's not too um, cakey looking. So I've just been applying this kind of all over. You do need quite a generous amount because the coverage of this isn't um, that fantastic. And then with the same little buffing brush, just buff this all over. Really get it into where you're the most dark. And then with your finger, just press it because that helps to kind of, again, give that really pretty natural finish. 
and it doesn't cover kind of every tiny little thing but it just gives you that pretty nice glow then for highlighter I'm just going to use a couple of things I'm just going to use the make believe enhance radiance uh, illuminating concealer just on my cupid's bow and then blend that in just to give a little bit of a kind of highlighting effect just a little bit of definition and sometimes I like to just take a little bit of this under my brow bone as well just again to give my face just a bit of shape because my face is the type that really needs that then uh, using cream products it's important to kind of remember that you want to create that kind of pretty finish but you don't want anything that's going to be too in your face and um, kind of obvious which is why cream products are great but don't powder if you're going to use cream products it's very important you make sure you're kind of using um cream products before you're powdering so i'm going to use a cream bronzer this is the 17 instant glow cream bronzer and i'm using this on the real techniques contour brush and i'm just going to take a small amount of this it's quite pigmented so you don't need too much just concentrate it where you would usually apply your bronzer you don't need to work differently just because it's a cream just kind of on your temples the kind of cheekbone area, I'm not doing a proper contour, I'm just kind of giving my face a little bit of a glow. Because like I said, it's kind of minimal makeup, it's not your kind of usual really obvious face. So that's it for bronzer. And then for blusher, I've been really, really loving this one by Benefit Lately. And this is the Benefit Lolly Tint, which is another addition to their kind of Benna Tints and Posy Tint and Cha Cha Tint and all of those types of products really beautiful kind of lilac-y pink colour and the thing with this is it's a stain so you do need to work very very quickly and kind of tap it into your cheek area and I'll show you what I like to do it's kind of like a cream rather than a liquid which makes a nice change so I'll just apply three strokes on the tops of my cheekbone and then with my finger just very very quickly blend it in and you want to do this before you powder because otherwise it kind of breaks down a little bit strangely so you can see it doesn't add too much colour and then I like to just go ahead and apply a little bit more and really build it up because once you've applied too much of this product you can't then take it away and that's something that you really want to remember with the, with these types of products it's very easy to kind of overdo it and you have to really find a way that makes them work so that's my cheeks done I'm going to go ahead and just do the same to the other cheek you want to just like I said work really really quickly you can do this with a brush but I've just found that it's easier with your hands and it kind of breaks down a little bit nicer so just really really blend that in nicely there we go base is done I'm then just going to powder don't use anything too cakey again you want it to look really fresh and natural and kind of undetectable so I'm going to use the miners fresh face powder just a light dusting of this just to set everything in place and because we've used cream products, you don't want them kind of sliding around. So don't kind of press it um, too hard. Just give a light dusting of powder and then we can move on to the Now I'm going to just attend to my brows. And if you've got kind of nice brows, you don't have to really fill them in. But I just don't feel like myself if my brows aren't slightly filled in. So I'm just going to use a little bit of powder again because powder is more natural um, when it comes to your brows than um, like a pencil or a liner kind of product. So just a small, small amount, nothing major, just to give that little bit of structure that your brow might be lacking and just that little bit more full effect. And I feel like with brows it does really help because it just makes your kind of brow look that little bit more groomed. So that's it for my brows. And then the eyes couldn't be easier as well. I'm going to use a cream product. You can go ahead and skip and not wear anything on the eyes. I do do that sometimes, but I feel like because my lids are a little bit darker, I do benefit from having something on the eye. And I'm going to use this um, eyeliner and shadow in the shade Lame. This is from Cosmetics a la carte. And it looks darker in the pot than it is once you apply it. And you'll see once I've got a light dusting of this on, it's just a kind of pretty shimmery, colour that's not that dissimilar to the shade of my lid so I like to just get a little bit of something going on on my lids just to add a little bit of definition because my lids as I said are a little bit dark and this just helps kind of make them look a little bit more noticeable then for mascara you want to use something that's very natural looking this 
isn't my favourite mascara ever, but when I want to look natural, I will go for this. And this is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara, which I'll show you. The wand looks like this. And once you've applied this, I'll show you a close-up in a minute. It does kind of give a very natural lash, which is great if you're trying to look like you've not Now I've got my mascara on, and you can see it just gives a very kind of natural lash, but just gives a little bit of lift. Only apply it onto the top lashes, because bottom lash mascara is very, very noticeable, and it won't look like you're not wearing anything on them. Then, last but not least, lips. I'm going to slightly line my lips just because my lips really need it and this is a total basic step for me. If you don't ever normally do this, totally skip this step. It's not something that's a must. But I'm just using this nude lip liner. This is from Essence and it's called In The Nude. Just to create that little bit of a fuller shape your lips and then I'm going to use a tinted lip balm I love this one by Maybelline it's the Maybelline baby lips in I think the shades called cherry just a really pretty juicy kind of color that adds a little bit of gloss and a little bit of a pink sheen but nothing too noticeable so you still look like you've not got much on your face but that is it that's my finished no makeup makeup look I hope you enjoyed this it's very very easy to achieve and let me know what your favorite products for achieving this type of look are in the comments below